Hey everybody, it's your girl Mimi. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, so now you want to do this? <laughs> well, first off, let's address the lawnmower in the background, but that is, there's nothing I can do to fix that, so <laughs> enjoy it. But anyway, um, I'm not in my set. Clearly, I'm standing in front of a very disgusting, ugly piece of furniture, so I clearly have to explain myself. My mom just moved, and she has like a big lady house now, cause like she's cool and like special, and she does ours, you know? The way the Haitian people work is, uh, if you have a kid who does it all, me, you have them do it all. So, <laughs> so my mom found this piece off of Facebook Marketplace. So we are going to be doing a furniture flip today, which I am so excited about. Like I love flipping furniture. Like it is my favorite thing to do ever. So we are going to take this and completely transform it to match my mummy's new house. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. everybody so here we go i'm just giving you like an up close view of what it looked like when we got it the legs like there were two legs missing first of all which was horrifying enough and then there was a lot of like old wallpaper stuff that was on there that wasn't coming off so like we were just like okay we basically have to redo the whole thing so what you see me doing here is i'm taking out the drawers i'm cleaning it out make sure everything is nice and clean ish so i can get started so i can sand the whole thing i'm not really gonna worry too much about the inside to be honest because it's just gonna be covered and she's just gonna put a lot of stuff in it anyway so i mostly just focused on the outside of revamping that instead of doing the whole thing because we would have been here all week if i was doing the entire thing but i'm just opening up the sandpaper that i got off amazon i got everything off of amazon that i used for this video so i can put the links down in the description below so you know exactly what i used and so i'm just taking the sandpaper and i am just sanding the entire thing and you can see how wobbly it is while i'm shaking it well that's because it's on two and a half legs it's because of that so i just wanted to sand it down get it soft so that when i applied the paint over it it would go on smooth i know if i had an electric sander i would have been able to get all the old paint off but like i didn't find it necessary for real for real so i didn't get it i just got regular sandpaper so yeah i just the sanding process took me about 30 minutes 30 45 minutes ish with breaks in between because you know it was hot outside and i wanted water 24 7 so yeah right now you see me taking off the knobs because i totally forgot to take the knobs off of everything whenever I started to sand the whole thing I get so impatient when I start doing things because I just like jump from here to there because I'm so excited and I just want to do everything at once but yeah I just took off all the knobs on the drawers and all that stuff too so that it was easy to just sand throughout the entire thing now I am taking the legs that I ordered off Amazon and I'm just gonna place them there and start spray painting them I chose gold because the accessories that she's got going on in her living room she's got a like gold black and brown situation going on in her house right now with like touches of cream and ivory so i figure for the legs to pop we should just go for gold so i just looked for some white legs that the color would pop off on and i just spray painted them down i did two coats of the gold and then i moved on to a clear coat of an interior paint like a spray paint very simple and i just used that to give everything a nice even coat so that it was all seamless we have arrived at the fun part the sawing Ugh, i love this part honestly it was honestly the most fun thing for me to do i um sawed off the legs with the saw i got off amazon and honestly it was so satisfying like i couldn't stop talking about the song for like the rest of the day I, it was like, so satisfying honestly but the sawdust got everywhere so if you're gonna do something like this definitely wear gloves um i kind of didn't do that 
that because I have like glasses but like whatever don't do what I did but yeah I just softened those edges up I wanted to make them as flat as possible seamless as possible so that when I put the new legs on it looked even the way it was supposed to the sawing probably took me about 20 minutes to make sure everything was seamless I also sanded the edges to make sure that they were soft and not ragged and did i almost cut myself a couple of times yes but thank you jesus because i didn't so right now you see me considering drilling a hole into this wood and then i start to think about it and i'm like that's not gonna work because the nails are gonna stick out so instead i found this rapid fuse glue that works with metal and wood and i connected the base piece of the legs that came in the package and i put the primer and the glue there and i stuck it on there and i had that there for about 30 to 40 seconds and it was really really hard it really didn't move at all which was nice and then after that i just glued the legs into the holes using gorilla glue i forgot to show that part but i did use gorilla glue instead to make sure that it was super super secure but yeah i just did that with all the legs and whatnot to make sure they were all sturdy and i didn't flip them over until i was sure that they were dried so now we're getting to the fun part while the legs are drying i just decided to start painting um since all her furniture is dark we chose to go with the dark brown situation it also matched this giant mirror that she got as a gift that she wanted to put over it personally it's not exactly my cup of tea but this is what matches her house so i have to please the client you know what i'm saying so we chose to paint it this dark brown color and at first i was getting really frustrated with it because it was really looking red and it wasn't going on as dark as i wanted and like it would i knew it would have gone darker better if i had sanded it better so i was kind of frustrated with myself a little bit but once i got past that i just kept painting and painted i painted everywhere i painted the sides i painted the front i painted all the drawers all the edges that you would see for the most part i didn't really worry about the inside like i said before i just worried about painting it evenly i want to say i did about three to four coats of this to make sure that the little red that was painted peeping through wasn't peeping through as much as it was looking like it was going to oh and mind you what was really annoying to me too was that the drawers within the first coat they were going on as dark as i wanted them to and i was like are you serious why couldn't you do this on the handles like the doors Ooh, i was so like i'm getting irritated just thinking about it again but anyway so i did those coats two to three times as well just to be sure and then i moved on to a clear glossy paint so this is day three you can clearly tell i'm over over it i'm finally seeing the results that i want it's finally dark like i wanted it to which i was very happy about so i just put one two coats of this clear glossy paint onto it my mom really likes really glossy furniture so i made sure it was glossy as could be i got it so glossy in fact that like you'll see in the reveal shots but it kind of looks mirrored in a way like you can see your reflection and your phone reflection into the furniture which i thought was kind of cool so yeah i just did that and then once i did that all i needed to do was put the door handles on it and basically wait for it all to dry so i could move it into her house when i was putting in the door handles i was experiencing some difficulties so the door wasn't like wide enough to like really like the wood part wasn't wide enough to really hold on to the full length of the nails so i ended up having to screw it in as far as it could go and then around the perimeter where it was a tiny bit loose i had to glue it with gorilla glue just to make sure that it was secure i guess that's my cute nails yes look at them in the shot eee! and just like that it is come Complete. that was the mirror i was talking about you know say hey to all y'all but that is the finished piece i am so happy with how it turned out you see there's my reflection right there that thing i was talking to you about my mom loves it so that's awesome because if she didn't love it then this would have all been for nothing but it matches her house and her little aesthetic she got going on perfectly so i was really excited about that if you aren't subscribed to my channel already what are you doing there's so many of you that are watching but not subscribed you might as well just keep supporting your girl and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like and comment down below and tell me what you guys think i appreciate you guys for watching my video thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye